rats starting to weather in now all the rust is starting to look a bit more natural. lads firstly this week i'd like to say a massive thanks to tim nicholas marty p pierre fontaine and our man rangy man for going to the tip jar secondly massive thanks to everyone who brought one of my oak swamp t-shirts cheers guys you're really keeping this channel rolling finally i'd like to thank martin port now martin writes for classic and sports car magazine and in this week's issue he's written an article on his own austin seven base special the Vegemite special and he gave me a nice mention so thanks a lot Martin. So continuing the shakedown of the rat I need to change the rear leaf springs because the original ones are really tired. I've got a set of Austin Big 7 quarter ellipticals over in the field so I'm going to begin to pull them off and stick them on. Also this week I'll be announcing the winner of the Drop Your John CD giveaway. I have the Weybridge ticket here so I'll be announcing that a bit later. Also I'll be continuing on with Mary Jane and the saga that brings me. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with it. Right, I really need to sort these springs out. The rear suspension's working really well. Apart from the fact, look at that spring, it's completely straight. So is that one. Now that's all right, but you get two people in it and it's just getting lower and lower. So I just need to get this up a little bit more because I think these 80 year old springs a bit tired now so i think i'm going to bring the austin big seven frame over so i'm going to go and get julian and pull him over <laughs> so sam's going to be driving the austin big seven Hello, you. Any good. Hello, you. Okay, so I need to flat pack this. I like this little chassis though, but there's the springs, and as you can see, they're a bit gruntier. They're a good half again as thick. Right, the only issue with these springs is they are a little bit narrower, but I can get over that, I'm pretty sure. I'm looking forward to this project in itself actually because. I've come up with um, I've come up with a few funky ideas for it already. I can start working on the chassis because I know exactly the madness I want to do in it. This is going to be, I think, more of a race car. Out and out, just for racing. Joe's undone everything on this already, so I think it's going to fall out. Well, baby, 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 won't you say well now with me? Well, baby, 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 is there something wrong with you? Well, baby, 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 this is out of... We'll get these off now. Well, it may seem like another's wrong, but deep down in my soul. He's a 
big old lump, isn't it? Right, that looks as though it's going to come to about, about there somewhere, which is pretty good. These are the same width for the front ones, actually. Right, so i just got to get the other one off now. Eighteen and a half inches. Okay, so I've just checked the pinion angle. Having these as the bottom link, it's changed. Just slightly, so I'm going to amend that when I cut these springs out. I'm just looking at this spring. We just need the first five leaves. Right, now I'll just mark these with the saw. Then I'll split this, and these will all become individual. But what it means is these are nice and tight together when I mark it, so they're all going to be dead on. So the drop jaw John competition, I'll give you a little bit of a clue. I didn't make 350 kilos, I was over 350 kilos. So if you guessed under 350 kilos, I'm sorry you weren't right. I'll tell you a bit more in a minute. Donuts and stickers. Oh, yeah. So Ted's not here, but Alan's looking after me. Right. Right, what we got here, Alan, is these leaf springs. I just want to hold right through the whole lot of them to match that one. 10 mil hole. Right. That woman drove me crazy. She's making me feel bad. And it took me well over an hour to do just two holes with a, a big pilot hole the other day. Let's see how quick this takes. Jesus, that pisses through it, doesn't it? That is fucking hard. No, but that just ate through it like it was nothing. What does that take? Five minutes? <laughs> Five minutes at most. Look at that, I'm excited man. Right, number two. How old are you mate? 69 this year. Mm, still working and you're, you're loving it much, isn't you? You've got to keep working. It's a challenge, isn't it? Yeah, if you, stop, if, you, if you stop exercising your mind, all the rest will follow just like that and you'll be in a box. Yeah. Didn't take long at all. Thanks a lot, Alan. That's all right, mate. Yeah. You've, been, you've been a legend. Cheers, then. Cheers, dude. No worries, Brian. Here's the main man, Ted's back. All right, mate? He did it in a couple of minutes. Did he? Yeah. Have I spent right. a bloody hour drilling one hole. How you doing, mate? Having the right expertise, isn't yeah. it? Well, he flew for it. And they give me a drill lesson. Oh, have they? Can't yeah. <laughs> it went in one ear and. <laughs> it popped out the other. Yeah, thing. yeah. yeah. <laughs> See you later, boys. See you later. Yeah. Awesome. Let's get them and try them on. Yeah, you can just see it's a little bit higher, which is what we want, just to get the tank up a bit. This is going to work. Right, I've loosened both sides off. This is the original side. That's not good. So much better. Phew, that's good. So I've completely changed the back end. <sighs> but it doesn't matter, I, I got there in the end. I always tend to do things twice, doesn't they? But right, I think Ian's oil leak isn't Ian's oil leak anymore. I think it's Ian's gearbox oil leak now. 
That's gearbox oil. So I think our gearbox has got to come out. Shit. Okay, so where the spring's narrower, what I'm going to do is make four four mil bits like that, and then a bit over the top, and I'll weld that together. But that will take up all the play in this, so we don't get any side to side movement. And then in here, I'm going to use a spacer. So they're set either side there, and that'll bolt through the bolt, I'll put a longer bolt on, and then these will weld to that. So what that'll do is stop any side to side movement. Well, these are always fun to cut. So that's what I've done. So I've run out of gas, so Dazzle's come over with some gas. Oh, really? Look at that. Beautiful. We can wave the way around it. Yeah, get rid of these big lumps if we can and put a little thin one in. Right, I've got to close the eyes. Ah! Oh, that looks better already, doesn't it? So there you go. And what this is doing is it's holding all, all together a bit more than that. And it keeps it tight in the back there. Doesn't that brush? Yeah, mate. Simon's <laughs> arrived on a very, very long Harley. How you doing, mate? All right, thank you. Good, good. Yeah, it's a bit longer than me, isn't it? It is. Yeah. <laughs> that... <laughs> This, this has spat its dummy out. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think it's dead. Now, if you watch the channel, you might remember Cy and Attitude Cycles from a previous episode. Well, me and Cy have just been having a chat about the Austin Big 7 and the Harley engine. Watch this space. <laughs> That's it all welded up. Daz did the welding on this, which I kept forgetting to do as well. Nice one, Daz. <laughs> okay, I've got the springs in, and what I've done this time is I've bolted them right through at the back as well, just to make sure the panard effect is working well. And I'm just going to give these a go. So I've got the springs in and I'll put most of it back together again now. I've had to extend this down just a little bit because the clearances were just too tight for my likings. What I'll do is I'll remake this bracket a bit later on. I don't think it's gonna it's gonna go anywhere today. So that was that. Then I attacked the gearbox. Your leak was from the gearbox, so I thought I'll just whip him out through the car, which proved to be an absolute nightmare. So I've done a few adaptions and then it went in and it didn't want to work and uh, it was a bit of a day but he's back in and hopefully that should all be good now. And then when you're doing the PTFE you got to run it the right way. Otherwise it'll just unravel as you do it up. Plenty of it.
Right, I think I'm all together. Put a bit of flooring in. Right, so give it a try with two. And the springs seem to be holding up. What do you think? Yes, oh, amazing. It was nice to drive, didn't it? <laughs> Makes you want to go fast. <laughs> that was so nice. It's just well, I'll keep I'll keep working at it and yeah. get it safe as I can. Yeah. We're well, safe now, but I just want it perfect, and then yeah. you can take it out. <laughs> Okay, on to the Drop Your John competition. So the competition from last week was to guess how much the rat weighed. And he weighed... 380 kilos on the nose. So we have one winner, and that is Jay. If you'd like to send me your details down to oakfontrats at gmail.com, I'll get them straight out to you. Thanks everyone else for taking part in that. Anyway, onward. Hey, Andy. Our milkman kindly drove into our veto last night. Made a nice job of that, and he's uh, that's been taken away. This is my daily. I'm just going up the post office to deliver some t-shirts. John Vickers, James Morrison, Martin James, Joe Fry, Rick Wagner, Enric Alcazaz, Peter Runsworth. All those guys bought t-shirts. Nice one, lad. I'm just going to take him up to the post office and get him out to you. Following that, and they were built. They were built right by us. Probably recognise them. They were they were used for the Red Devils and training their aircraft for the RAF. But that's a proper one. I don't think it's got an engine in it. I saw an alligator. He was smoking on the grass. I had my reservations as I walked past. Said, I said, hi, Mr. Gator, how do you do? Right, that's a barber, too. Yeah. Long 
So I started back on with Mary Jane and I've taken the carb off and I put them in Sonic the Hedgehog. All the jets were really dirty, but it cleaned them up a treat. So I started it and it ticked over lovely. And then all of a sudden, knock. Intermittent knocking. Knock, knock, knock like that. And then I turned it off and I started it again and it did the same again. So I checked everywhere. And now the intermittent knocks turned into a regular knock. I'm going to give it a little blast just so you can hear it. Scary man. Now I'm not going to do that again because that sounds absolutely brutal. That's like there's a, it's hitting every time the piston's going round. But what I'm going to do first and foremost is push her back over there and drop the oil and see what comes out of that. Jumped in the river swim the other side when I saw the alligator with his big old evil eyes turn his head and with a big grin he opened up wide and said come on in there's nothing on the sieve at all right so Lewis has popped over yeah I have <laughs> and here I am what do you want from me just to help me with that that jack and that over there. What, that jack and that over there? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's all right, I can do that for you. Good. Good. Thank you. Right. Maisie's here. I don't want anything from you, Maisie. Good. Except to look beautiful. Thank you. Like I can you try want. my best. I said I'll try my best. <laughs> you're, doing a, you're doing a bloody good job, <laughs> in my opinion. Yeah, I can. Oh, I imagine that coming straight back and hitting eye in the head. This has got a nice white top on. Mm. Ideal for car mechanics. It's awkward bleeder, isn't it? I had to do him up. I well, know I've got to do him up again later. So what we've got to do now, Lewis, is wiggle it out like a tooth. Thanks for your help. Yeah. I can't see any damage under it. There's just nothing scraping. I was expecting a big lump of metal to be down there. You all heard the knock on it, but it must yeah. be on a piston. I think it's head off. I think really? it's, yeah. We could have done that in situ, to be honest, but we might have to replace a conrod anyway, so, and a piston and the head. I was thinking about it last night. It started intermittently, this knock. So I'm wondering if the pistons are concave, perhaps whatever's <laughs> whatever's in, got in there has missed on a couple of strokes and then it's come over to one side and it's got on the high edge of the piston and it's battered into it. So I'm gonna whip this head off now. One step forward and two steps back. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Having fun with Mary Jane. So this is a 1957 James Comet. It was yeah. bought on Shirley High Street <laughs> uh, on November 4th. Uh, the guy who ordered it ordered every single extra. The leg shield, the grey paint, the battery, the brake light, the ammeter, the, uh, the rear suspension is interesting because no Comet that we know of has twin rear shock absorbers. Where are the shock absorbers in they are here? Buried right underneath, back in there. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, they're tiny, aren't they? It reminds me of you know them children's rocking horses where they had a little yeah. saddle thing in them. Oi! It's <laughs> really little, isn't it? Feels like a C90. <laughs> the way the forks fit. Ah, uh, okay. Why 
See you later, dude. See you later. See you later, man. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're all right. Are we? Yeah, look. Awesome. Look, you see this? Yeah. That's what it is. What the fuck is that? I don't know. It's dug in the top of the piston. There you go, it's out. Whoa. That's what it was. Is that what? It's making that noise? Yeah, look, it was hitting here. And the reason it was... It come over here. The reason it was intermittent... Oh, it's because okay. it caught on there a couple of times. Oh my god. Let's see what that piston feels wow. like. No, he's alright. Yeah. I think he's alright. Hallelujah. Well, he's alright then. Look, that's the only damage that it's done, look. Is that that was so effect? tiny. What has that come from? But it just means we've got to put it all back together again. But, you know. And then put it all back in again. Oh well. But. Right, so we've got this choke cable and it's quite a funky one. I don't know what it's off of, but it says push. I'm going to fit him just down inside there, so I'm just going to drill it out and put him down there. And then I'm running the cable along this front and then up and over. Keep it out of the way. So the old rat story's starting to draw towards the end, so I'll be doing a few more episodes on it but as and when I do it. I want to get finished shaking down, and what I want to do is fit twin animals to him. I want to make an alley rocker cover, and I want to bring the exhaust up like a tail. Now the, the, the centre mount's moved, I can do it, so that's what I'm going to do. So that's going to be happening over the next few weeks. In the meantime, I've got to get Mary Jane sorted, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. I didn't expect that one. And I'm actively collecting parts for the next build, the leaf. So I'll be able to crack on with that as soon as possible. Also, I'm gonna have a big change round in the garage, get it all sorted, get some shelves up, get get the doors sorted. If you wanna see me do that, leave me a comment and I'll do a video on that. Anyway, massive thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you do. There's loads coming up. Please leave me a like and a comment. You know, I answer them all and I really do appreciate it. If you're feeling flush, bung me a couple of quid in the tip jar. Better still buy one of my lovely Oak Swamp shirts and I will catch you dudes next time. Hang loose. A one step forward and a two steps back. I got on the train, but she ran out of track. A one step forward and a two steps back. Now that's where my luck is at. I said a one step forward and a two steps back. I got on the train, but she ran out of track. <laughs> Scooby fucking do, where the fuck are you? He brand bread old George Michael though, isn't he? <laughs> he is me, that's I think he is. Martin writes for Classic and... What is it called? Classic fucking what? That's Coach Road, you stop it. That's Coach Road. I'd go up to the shop with it, yeah. Up. Up right at the top. Yeah. Look at the thickness of them bastards. Hello. Right, so we're eating buns. Martin. <laughs> you fuck with. Finally. <laughs> and in this week's episode, it's an issue you prick.
Massive thanks to everyone who bought one of my lovely eggs from. And in this week's issue, he has, fuck it now. And in, and in the, the for fucking, come on, Andrew, you pee ass. What the fuck have you got? We'll be waiting at the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's about a quarter of a mile up the road and we can hear him. Finally, I'd like to thank Martin Port. Martin Port. Stop fucking saying it twice. There's some long nose motherfuckers here. Yeah. So continuing on with the shakedown of the rat, I needed to, for fuck's sake. I come out and I found Mary Jane was smoking. 